This video was sponsored by Kershaw Knives, creating high quality, high performance, exceptional working tools and knives that users are proud to carry. Use discount code ARCHERY20 for 20% off at KershawKnives.com. Hey Archery Talk, this is Lucas and tonight is Chrono Night for the Elite Omnia. I had this bow, I made a setup video a little while ago for you guys and I said I would come back with a speed test and I'm going to do that in a major way for you tonight. Uh, let's look at specs real quick in case you've forgotten. The Elite Omnia uh, has a 32 inch axle to axle, a 6 inch brace height and an IBO rated speed of 347 feet per second. I wanted to see exactly how close we can get to that tonight uh, and so I tested this thing. I put the... Um, I tried to put this in its optimum settings. So I had the let off set at 70, which is the, you know, the, the, uh, the least amount of let off I can handle in there, which is hyper aggressive. I actually don't like holding it that weight. Uh, I really prefer about 80% let off, 85% let off, but, uh, I threw that at, at 70% let off and I shot this thing at, at 30 inches of draw length and then down in one inch increments all the way down to 25 inches of draw length. Uh, just to give you guys an idea of what the draw length and what the, um, what the speeds are going to be for all those different draw lengths. So let's go take a look at the numbers. I should say right off the bat that this bow is set up with 70 pounds of draw weight exactly, and I'm using a 350 grain uh, arrow so I can get the absolute closest to the IVO specs as I can. So at 30 inches and 70% let off, I shot this bow twice, and both times it came in at 339 feet per second. At 29 inches of draw length, this bow shot 330 and 329 feet per second, so about 10 feet a second less, and at 30, at 28 inches of draw length, I shot the bow twice again, and each one went 321 feet per second. When I put this bow into the 27 inch settings, it actually came in at about 27 and 1 8 inches of draw length, and I shot uh, 314, 312, and 313 feet per second, so about an average of 313. At 26 inches of draw length, we got 300 and 299 feet per second. And finally, in the 25 inch draw length setting, I actually measured it out at 24 and 3 quarters, we shot 288 feet per second all three times. Once I got done testing at all the different draw lengths, I wanted to see how the bow was performing at the different let off settings. So I brought it back to the number one position on the cam, which is as far as it goes, that's a 30 inch draw length. And I set it to 80% let off, uh, which is kind of where I would normally keep the bow. And that made the draw length about 30 and a quarter inches long. And the speeds actually ended up being a little bit faster at 340 feet per second. So I tested it at 90% let off. And now we're at about 30 and a half inches of draw length. And the speeds were 342, 341 feet per second. I shot a couple different arrows. Uh, so it actually was a little bit higher. And this was this goes against my prior experience with bows with adjustable let off. In the past, I've found that even though you're increasing draw length by kind of making the let off much, you know, much less holding weight, the bow speeds will go down. Uh, where, but this case obviously is a little bit different. The speeds actually went up by, you know, incrementally, just a couple of feet a second. But the bottom line is the Elite Omnia performed super well in the chronograph. Um, so, you know, between five and seven feet per second uh, under IBO, which is very good for my testing. Uh, I've had very few bows do any better than that, especially speed bows. Those often come a little inflated. So if you've been waiting for an elite that can really shoot fast uh, arrows, this is, this is the one for you. The Omnia performs well. And I have to say at 80% at let off, the cam does not really feel like a hyper aggressive speed bow. Uh, when you move it to like 90%, you get a bit, you feel a bit more of a hump into the valley at full draw, but, uh, but realistically, this is still not, it doesn't feel like a, a bow that's going that fast, I'll say that. Archery Talk, I think that's about all I got for you now. Please do like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel an awful lot, and we'll see you again soon.